Today, we're taking a look at the Drop 1.0 from Monsters Pickleball. What's up guys? If you've watched my channel before, you know I normally review pickleball paddles, but today we're taking a look at some pickleball shoes. If you're unfamiliar with court shoes or pickleball shoes, there's a few reasons why you should be wearing them. The biggest reason to wear court shoes is for health and safety. A lot of people play pickleball in running shoes, which can lead to rolled ankles or even torn Achilles and other injuries. That's because running shoes are designed for forward motion and lack the stability for side-to-side -side motions and sharp cuts that are used in pickleball. The materials used on the outsoles of running shoes is also not designed for the hard, gritty surfaces that pickleball and tennis are played on, leading to extremely quick wear. A lot of brands' pickleball shoes are reskinned versions of their lower-end tennis shoes, with very few, if any, modifications made specifically for pickleball. Now, that doesn't mean that they're bad for pickleball, Actually, most tennis shoes are great for pickleball, but can often have features that are a little too overkill for most pickleball players. That's where brands like Monsus come in. Monsus has designed a shoe from the ground up specifically for pickleball. They've done that by making sure that they kept all the features that made tennis shoes so great for pickleball, while stripping back some of the things that made them overkill and added unnecessary weight. So taking a look at the Monsus pickleball shoe, you have a breathable mesh upper to keep your feet nice and cool, a reinforced toe cap and heel cap. There's also the slide support patch on the inside of the foot, which helps protect the shoe against any toe dragging that might happen when making side to side movements. And most importantly, a high density rubber outsole to give you a long lasting tread life. And probably the best part about the Monsters Pickleball shoe is its price point. These shoes are only $109 before a discount code, and with the discount code SCOOTER10, you can save 10% off your order, making these $98. Making these shoes a great quality to price ratio. So all of that is really good on paper, but how do they perform? I'm happy to report these are insanely comfortable. The cushioning is very plush, and the step-in comfort honestly surprised me. They offer really solid support with very minimal break-in. The upper and the gusseted tongue wraps around the foot and secures your foot nicely. And I felt no slipping or sliding with the lockdown fit. Monsus did a really good job at putting the durability where it counts, focusing most of the weight and rubber onto the outsole and the slide guard, while keeping most of the upper this nice breathable mesh to keep the comfort good. Speaking of durability, I've been wearing these shoes regularly for over a month now, and there is very minimal signs of wear on the outsole, leading me to believe that these are going to last for a long time. However, Monsus does put a six month outsole warranty on these shoes. So if you do happen to wear through these shoes quick, they will replace them for free. Outsole warranties like this are actually super uncommon for shoes under $100, so I was super excited to see that. One note on the fit, I do have a pretty narrow foot and these shoes fit me very well but they do have a wide cut available that I would recommend to most people. So how do these shoes compare to the other options on the market? I've tried a lot of other shoes from brands like Nike, New Balance, and Asics, and Monsus is right up there with the best of them. My previous shoes were the New Balance CT Rally, which I really loved, but I found these shoes to be more comfortable and easier to break in and significantly cheaper. I also picked up a pair of these for my dad, his previous shoes were the Asics Gel Game 9s, and he has found that these shoes are more comfortable, better stability, significantly more durable, and his biggest issue with his Asics was actually lace bite from a really thin tongue, and Monta solved that problem for him. Overall, I found these shoes to be really impressive, and they really surprised me. They offer a great quality to price ratio, and are a really good all-around solid pickleball shoe. They do a good job at balancing durability and comfort. And my only real complaint is that I wish they had more colorways. I think they're currently sitting at five colorways and I would love to see them branch out and try some more interesting stuff. But they are a really new brand, so I'm excited to see what they do in the future after making such a good first shoe. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Stay tuned, I have more reviews coming soon.